Why is everybody coming except for me? Why everybody love me? Because this Bible just told you everybody should not. Amen. This is why. This is where we get joy, Gio. Because I realize you're not hating me. You're hating the God that I'm preaching. So I'm not going to get mad because your face turned. That just shows me that obviously I'm saying something that's hidden in flesh. Amen. So guess what? To God be all the glory. Because the same thing that you say, ah, wait. I'm saying the same thing. Ah, I can't change the Bible a bit by sin neither. Because I wish I didn't have to say this part. But we all have sin and come short of the glory. We all got some issues. So the same thing I'm preaching to you, my flesh is like, oh man, chill. Chill. And the spirit is saying, no, speak it. Because just like you will speak deliverance, you won't get it too. And this is how you stick beside it because of what the word that we can't change is working on everybody. What does Hebrews 4 12 says? It's alive, it's powerful, it's sharper than any two edged sword. It exposes your innermost thoughts and desires. That's what the word does. So when you're sitting here hearing it, your mind is going to say, I know that that fat guy ain't lying because he's just talking about where I'm at. It ain't me, it's the spirit meeting you where you are. Because guess what? In my head, is, I'm talking about myself. I need to do more of this this week. I need to do more of this this week. Jesus, God. Listen, my last week was weird. And although, God, sometimes I want to have a pity party story, your word says stand firm. Stand confident. Ain't about your foot. You still serve God emotionally. You ain't meet me yet. Get out of your emotions. It ain't about that. It's about what you know. Then you switch that. Know what you know. I know the word of God. I know what he's saying. Saying it. I know when he's saying it. So let me just stick beside it and come out my emotions.